you guys, it's Shannon Rose, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how I film my YouTube videos. A lot of you guys think that this is a green screen behind me, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to go out of focus, but I'm going to show you. It's not a green... Oh my god, I almost just, <laughs> almost just fell. It's not a green screen, guys. Like, I can touch the wall. I'm back here. I'm doing stuff. Let's see if I can get myself back into focus. So it's not a green screen, it's just we have found a way to make our camera quality the best that we possibly can just because we really like to be able to film really good videos for you guys. So for those of you guys that are wondering what camera I use, what lights I use, all the questions that I always get in every video about my um, camera and lighting equipment, I'm going to be showing that to you in this video in as much detail as I can. So hopefully this will help you out and I hope you enjoy it. So we are going to show you what we use to film all our lighting setup and Travis is actually the one that does this. So I'm going to let him go ahead and walk you through everything. So babe, do you want to start with the uh, lights? First thing, I'll try to go through this quickly. We have an LED light down here. And where did you get that? This was from Home Depot. It was like 70 or 80 bucks. And what does this do? Why do we put that there? This is here. So this is going to light up the whole background and give light back here because it starts to get very, very dark. As you guys probably recognize, we change this, I don't know, fairly frequently. Also with this LED light or any lights that you're using, get a higher like K number, like 5,000 all the way up to like 6,500 K. Without getting into too much detail, basically it's a whiter light rather than say a yellow light like this. Huge difference when you're filming. Next thing is we have this light up here. This is just from Home Depot. This is just, I mean, this is cheap as like 10 bucks or something. And what is that light used for? This light is basically coming down, as you can kind of see, when Shannon or when you, hi, are sitting here, it's going to kind of put some light on the top of your head and a little bit on your shoulders and just kind of have a back light. Yeah, and it looks really pretty. It kind of just looks like more professional, like what they do like in studio lighting. Travis just screwed in screws on the ceiling and then that's a little clamp light and he clamped it and then we have cords running so that you can't really see them uh, on camera. Mm -hmm. They're and... above the camera line. And in here, once again, is basically this light or these bulbs right here. And these are just from Home Depot. And the big thing is looking at this K number here. Remember, like I said, 5000 K or a little bit above because it's cooler. It's that more of a white kind of a bright light rather than a yellow light. And that looks better on camera than the yellowy light. Absolutely. We also changed out our two bedroom lights with these lights, which are basically the same type of thing. And are these the lights that you use in the overhead clamp light above? Yeah, this I just use a little bit less. So this is the 60 watt, which is in the top light. Okay, so now for the lights that we use when we're filming that go in front of me and not behind me, we have two softbox lights that we put on either side of me. And we do use all the lights inside. So these are just the lights that they came with and we use all five when we're shooting. Yeah, these are all 5500K and they're 45 watt. So it's a lot of light, but using the soft box softens up the light so it's not so intense. And so you can see from Shannon's perspective where she's sitting here, she has these lights coming from the side and then we have a ring light coming straight from the front and then you have this light coming on top of her head. And then of course the background light which is helping to light up the background. Correct. And for today's video, I'll give you guys a sneak uh, peek. We're gonna Ooh. do that as the background. So yeah, a lot of people have been saying like, oh, they use a green screen, they just take a picture of the background, but we, <laughs> we don't do that. This is just, we just have it like set up so that the quality is like really good. Also, we just want to say that normally people can use natural lighting and you can see we have a big window here, but we actually shut that window no matter what time of the day it is because we like to control the lighting um, ourselves. So we don't normally use natural light in our main channel videos. And I'll just say one more thing with this. The reason being too is you could shoot at 1 p.m. in the afternoon or 1 a.m. and it's not going to change. If I make adjustments on the camera in the morning and by the end of the day, if it starts to get shady, it will start to look different. That's why we ended up just kind of shutting that and eliminating that. 
So just so you guys know, uh, we use the Rebel T3i. We've had this camera for a while. We just started recently using it. So it's just the older uh, Canon Rebel. And then the lens that we're using is the Sigma 30 millimeter lens. So now Trav's gonna show you the settings on the camera. So we actually put a filter on our Sigma 30 millimeter lens. It's a dark filter lens. And the reason I use that is to get the blurry background. I have to let so much light into the camera that it will completely blow out Shannon everything. The whole thing would look white. So to open up the camera settings, I have to put this on to darken it back down. And what's the name of the dark lens? Well, this is just, it's made by Altura. We the got it on Amazon. Brand doesn't really matter, but it's just an ND4. But they make different, like I think ND2 and four, six, eight, all these different things. So depending on how much light you need to let into the camera um, will depend on different like darknesses of the filters right and just so you guys know the ring light and the box lights are all from amazon even the camera the lens we got on amazon it's just some of the other stuff we got from home depot so it's really easily accessible the stuff that we have and then also our tripod we also got from amazon real quick with these two things the good and the bad this lens is nice but there is no zoom on this lens so wherever the subject needs to be, the camera has to go there. You can't zoom it in or out. It also has autofocus and manual focus. I find that the autofocus doesn't work very well. So when Shannon gets into position, I manually focus this. The other thing is with this camera, it's nice, but there's no continuous autofocus. So once you're set in position, if you move forward or backward, you're going to get blurry and out of focus, which really sucks with this. But it is what it is. It's good for sit down videos. So basically this is what you are seeing from behind the camera. This is set at 60. As you can see, depending on what everything looks like, I can lighten it up or darken it up. This is your F stop number here. The lower the number, the more light's going to let in. That's why I need the other filter. Okay. So the settings that I showed you are basic settings that we start out with, but depending on what Shannon's wearing, the colors she has on, or if she's tan or different makeup, I need to make settings and make adjustments on the camera for the video. All right guys. So that's basically how we film. I hope you guys liked it. All right, you guys, another thing that I wanted to add is that we use Final Cut Pro to edit our videos, and I think that's about it. So if you guys have any other questions or comments, let me know down in the comment section below. If you liked this video and it was helpful for you or we answered some of the questions you had, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you again so much for watching. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy, and I hope to see you in my next video. Mwah.